welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Kaz and welcome to the video. Now today, as you may gather behind me there, I have got all my brushes set out because we are going to declutter my brushes. I am fed up of having so many brushes to wash and some of them, I don't know, you just get your favourites. Some of them are not my favourites. They all work. All brushes work. But some of them are just not working for me and there's just no point using them because my favourites are, are dirty. I might as well clean them. So we're going to go through all my brushes, what I'm keeping, what I'm not. I'm going to keep two lots of brushes that I use and then obviously clean, uh, you know. That's the idea anyway. So if you want to see how I get on and what I keep and what I don't, carry on watching. Right, here they all are. Now, to start off with, my double-ended brushes, <laughs> my dual-ended brushes for my eyes, I am keeping. Most of them are from palettes, like the Heat Palette, and that's the Heat Palette, and then you've got Urban Decay ones here, the Smoky Palette, etc. These ones I am actually going to be keeping. I do like all my dual-end brushes, and these ones, after I, these are my... Eye brushes obviously that aren't dual ended. Um, I'm going to keep these as well after I decluttered most of my no, not most. After I've decluttered all my non cruelty free ones, these ones are the ones that I have been left with. And I do a lot of colour. This is what I do all the colour with. This is what I do all the normal eyes with, if you like. Hence the yellow and things in there. So I'm going to be keeping those. It's these ones I want to go through. Um, powder brushes. Oh, should we just go through them all? <laughs> these are two I got from Iconic London. Um, the limited edition ones. These ones I do enjoy for buffing out a contour that went a bit wrong. <laughs> and this is a foundation brush, but it's also good if there's a foundation that just is sitting in your pores and that, and you can buff it out. So I do like those. These, this one's from Real Techniques. I enjoy this one for pounding in the powder when you just want to set that face in and you pound in the powder. And this is a Tarte one that I use the same. It's a little bit softer, so it doesn't pound in as much, but I do enjoy that one. Now, foundation brushes. Gosh. These are the foundation brushes I've got. There is the Y6 from Morphe, um, recommended by Laura Lee. I love this one. This is the It Cosmetics. Um, I've recently done an It Cosmetics look. It's a good one. I've washed it, but it seems to stain. And I've washed and washed. I've washed that three times. It seems to stain, but it is a good one for putting on the CC creams. This one is... Um, Iconic London. I love this one. Again, it seems to stay. Maybe it's just on me. Maybe I need to use a different cleanser. I don't know. But yeah, I wanted more of this, but I can't get them because um, they only come in a set with Iconic London, which is a shame. Shame you can't just buy the only one brush. Um, then I have my two stick ones. I have my Hourglass stick one which i adore with my hourglass foundation if you want to see me applying the hourglass just comment down below and this is the one i got from tart in a set again that's a good one for both really liquid and the stick foundations keep that one this is the new lux performance from bare minerals it worked and it put the um foundation on quite nice it's a pig to dry. It's still damp and I washed it yesterday. It's not my favourite. I like the flat-ended brushes. Um, it's not my favourite. So I'm going to declutter that one. And this one is a buffing brush from Real Techniques. Yes, it is a good brush. I do like it. It's a bit too fluffy, if you see. A bit too fluffy if I do this one. It's more stiff. I like, 
if you like i like a more stiffer one um so i'm not sure about this one uh do i keep it to say that i'm using a cruelty free drugstore brush i don't know i'm not sure about this one at all but uh, i'm going to keep it for the one main reason it's the only drugstore one other than the morphe one i suppose but it's the only drugstore one i've got high street one i've got that works and i need backup sometimes because i haven't cleaned these so there. these ones are the ones i use for cream contour um at the moment we've got a give i have a giveaway for a black brand new set of these with the cream contour from iconic london so check out that video um and you could be winning one of these really good really really good so obviously they're staying and these ones are the body shop ones i don't use it for foundation i use these for cream contour as well because they're very flat and hard and stipply and of course you've got the you know more chiseled brushes so i like those for that now this lot oh my favorites that i use again and again i have got to say is these i like this one for carving out that chisel i enjoy that one a lot so that's a good one and i like the nyx professional makeup big fan fat brush i love that for whee highlight so i like that one this one i like for just poofing on a bit under my eyes it's another it cosmetics one it's so soft and i love just that just for poofing on a bit of powder under my eyes or sweeping away a bake uh this one i enjoy i use this today in the it cosmetics oh it's brilliant for a bronzing brush big flat just fluff that bronzer about love it and hmm, where are you there he is the it's cosmetics blush brush i like it i like the little snazzy dot in the middle i just like how you can just hold that and fluff it or hold that and give it a good you know pound it in your face so i really do like that so i like that brush i like this because uh, again with the other ones this is a tart handled beat that powder in it's a little bit softer than those over there but i do actually adore that one and for contour absolutely love my cat von d brush it's the only cat von d brush i've got yeah i get it the right way around the shade and light brush i absolutely love it, it come in a little coffin as well i use this side for buffing out the chisel and i use this side for cutting out the chisel with the light powder underneath so i do like that one this one and oh, there you are these two are what i got from tart i endure this one i use this for the bronzing absolutely love it um and this for doing my nose down my nose if i want to contour my nose i love this one for a blush if i just want that little tiny bit of brush and i use this one for the light bit you know down the middle of your nose and chiseling out your contour so i do like those <sighs> right mm. this one i think is my secondary it's the new real techniques blue for sweeping away it's so soft so soft but it's for sweeping away the bake popping a little bit under the eyes that you don't, when you don't want loads and loads so i do like that one and then we have these ones left this one is a nice tart one um just normal everyday puffing brush i do like that and it's tart these are the limited edition tarts but to be honest i don't reach for these um the one i want like is this one and i don't reach for these it's very pretty limited edition tart squirrely unicornies but i don't use them i don't reach for them this one again from Tarte, the round puffy brush. I don't tend to go for it. And to be honest, I don't know what you're meant to use it for, but I don't tend to go for it. This one here is a Real Techniques. It says Expert Face Brush. This one I enjoy more because it's rounder and flatter. I don't reach for this much at all. So, mm -hmm. these are good if you want to go travelling 
Um, now when I go traveling, I tend to take my big brushes with me, but when I did the um, face to go to work and then out with the girls, this is the sort of thing I was looking for. Um, I'm not sure, no. This is meant to be a blush brush. For, for me, it's too too floppy and that has been clean, believe it or not. Um, these white bristles seem to collect all the muck and don't get rid of it. So I don't like that one particularly. Um, the Body Shop Blush Brush. Yeah, it's a good contour blush brush, but I've got plenty of contour ones up there. So I'm not sure about that one. These, this is a Real Techniques um, 301 for chiseling out that contour. Um, I'm going to keep that as a secondary contour one. Mm -hmm. The 100, uh, it's meant to be for baking and putting under your eyes. I don't find it fits under my eyes very well. It's a very nice brush, but it doesn't fit under my eyes very well. So I don't want that one particularly. Um, this one is for popping powder, as you can see, woo, popping powder under your eyes. I do tend to use that one. I think that's probably the better one. Um, mm, yeah, I'll keep that one for just like popping a bit of powder under the eyes. These two from the body shop, very good. That's meant to be for highlighter. This one here and this one's meant to be for blush, like I said. I'm not sure about these. Um, I don't tend to go for them, so they're just sat here. So I don't know about those. These are highlighting brushes. As you can see, it's got a pink. These are highlighting brushes and I tend to keep these when I use the Jeffree Star highlighters because as you can see, it stains your brush a bit. But I like these as a little highlighting brush when I just want to highlight that little area. So I'm going to keep those. These, again, the little round dome ones, I don't tend to go for a lot. So they can go. This one I have used for a concealer brush before. And to do your eyes, you know, to go uh, your eye primer and that. But I'm not using it. It's just sat here. This is the powder brush from the body shop. I thought I'd like this because it's nice and soft. But to be honest... I like the other ones better and this this is it do I keep the eco tools which is a beautiful powder brush or the mm, or the tart one and I think so let me have a little oh I like both of these brushes what have I got for powder brushing off the powder I've got these two you see, I do gravitate towards these two. Mm. Yeah, soft powder. Oh, I don't know. Um. Mm. I don't know. I gravitate towards these two because that's really soft if you just want a little light dusting of powder. Um, and brushing away your bake. This one's really nice if you just want to swirl round. This one's really nice if you just want to swirl round as well. It's a bit stiffer than that one. But I have used it. And this one, I have used it as well. Mm, decisions, decisions, decisions. I'm going to keep those two and get rid of them. So all in all... These are the brushes I am getting rid of. Um, if I regret it, well, when a new brush comes out to try, I can try them. So that's what I'm getting rid of. And this I was going to show you. It's the little morph box. Um, and it's really cool because it keeps your dual-ended brushes um, nice and safe. For instance, oh, la, 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 where's my dual-ended brushes? Keeps all your jewel-ended brushes nice and safe. You don't have to put your jewel-ended brushes. You could put other brushes in there. But it does keep them nice and safe and away. And you can travel with it as well, which I do enjoy. The rest of them just sit in a little cup on my dresser. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, these will probably, they have been washed. So these will probably head up. Uh, to my friends and family whoever needs some brushes I have also got rid of other 
um, unicorn lashes, brushes and all sorts that I didn't use um, and the, they weren't cruelty free as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you in my next one. Bye!